Hello everybody, welcome to Animal Crossing Part 5. Um, so, I have played a lot on my own. Um, since over the last two parts we hadn't made a lot of progress, I wanted to go forward. Um, so I placed the three houses, the bridge, uh, we have our nooks, and able sisters. So now, we can place the campsite, get new residents, and do the DLC. Um, I still need to do the, um... Oh yeah, and Isabel's here. Morning, everyone. Right now, yeah, obviously I've been time traveling. It's March 5th, concert on TV. Rambling on again. Thank you, Isabel. Um, so we have a lot of stuff that we can do. Which is very good. Oh yeah, I'm... <laughs> I have my little Tanjiro outfit. Uh, so our residence so far, we have Tammy, who I can't wait to get rid of. Um, as you saw earlier, this is Jambat. Sure, I'll talk to Jambat. Do you know about Glee? One of my favorite reactions, Toast. Watch this. Oh, I just discovered a great gingerbread recipe. It's a great way to show everyone that your heart is full of glee. Awesome. Yeah, I have a bunch of reactions. Um, I bought the ones that were from the pack and everything. Oh, the Nook Miles, there's not DLC reactions, but yeah. So those are cool, and, uh, go on and say hi to Rattles. Oh, he's making something. Oh, I hate that he has the pear stuff. Toasty, uh, watch your step, okay? What are you doing? I'm making a windflower fan. What the bugs on the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I gotta build it before I get what it even was. Check it out. Plans for the windflower fan. I can teach you if you want. Yeah, teach me! Go ahead, man. Do your worst. All right. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I paid off my house and customized it. Um, I did a huge turnip run. Uh, so now we have plenty of bells. What have we got in the mail today? Ah, right. Oh yeah, I saw Gullivar as well earlier today. Salem, buddies, reward this pirate booty. It's all yours. Pirate boots. I love those boots. Garden lantern. Those will be so useful. A new song and pink wetsuit. So I have a green one currently, which matches with Tanjiro quite well. So today we are going to make our song, which will obviously be My Two Lovely Uncles. And I'm going to try and do the flag if I can. Um... But I might leave the flag for now. Deem Nook Miles. Block fence. Quill fence. I don't think I have that one yet. DIY recipe has been issued. Yes, I would like to make another selection. Utility poles will definitely need down the line. Okay. Nook shopping. See what's up today. Pull up our telescope. Hmm. 8-ball, T-7-ball. Two days ago, don't have that one. Very good. I already have the pie. Okay. 
And now to look into Nooks and then into Ables. Then we um, craft the campsite. I am excited because our our next villager is going to be Peewee. <laughs> My favorite little guy uh, is coming with us to Nukieno. It's going to come right with us. Let's go. Give me the closing lines. Was that a tackle box? Toolbox. Same thing. Well, it's not, but they look pretty much the same. go see Abel's. Maybe they finally have a black pair of shorts. A long black pair of shorts. I don't know why the outdoor shorts, and, like the comic shorts are so long, but I can't find another pair of shorts that size. Oh, handlebar mustache. Do they have a pink one? Not a pink mustache, a pink bow tie. They have that headpiece in pink. Yes, they do. They have pink ribbon. If I ever did Nezuko. <sighs> yeah, like, why are these also. I can't even. I gave Krimi this. They loved it. Um, yeah. Nope. Alright. Thank you so much, Mabel. Whoop. Hey, um, it's great you're such a loyal customer and everything, but we just got a ton of work to get through. Thanks for understanding. She finally said a full sentence to me, guys. Oh, I want to get rid of those pears so bad. I might end up spending the time doing that okay so 15 of each wood is going to be a little difficult so i will get started on that immediately get all the trees that are around here might need to make another stone axe but that is just fine with me. Glad to get more regular. Oh, glad to get more regular wood. Honestly, I think getting hardwood is going to be. Yeah, I got that one right. Yeah, is going to be the weird part right now because. I could go up to the spruce trees, that is true, but I don't know. Anyways, I'd finally gotten out of the snow, I think today would have been the end of the snow anyway, but um, finally out of that. Yeah, I just really, really wanted to go forward. Um, and make more progress. So now we're finally not just sitting in a snowy wasteland. Now there are buildings. And my house looks half decent.
Nice. The money rock. It was not what I needed at all, but that's okay. Bells are always welcome. I'm going to try and find another rock here. Don't know. There's... There we go. Hi hey guys, how are you doing today? Just thought that I would end the day with some Animal Crossing and uh, grind out a little bit more content. So yeah, just so you guys know, I, I have been playing, I just have not been able to stream over the past few days. Um, so, yay hardwood, needed that. But yeah, I was looking at some designs earlier, and oh my god, I just want to get straight to being three stars so I can terraform. Ugh! Need to flatten this whole damn island, fill in those rivers, and really think of a design. I'm literally, I'm gonna get rid of all the trees, everything. I'm just gonna start fresh. Because, like, there is so much I can do with this island. And, uh, let's just try and get 15 of each right now, if I can. Poof! Oh, well. Toskun, hello, Gaster. Welcome to stream. I think I'm going to turn off my camera now. I don't need this on. Hi. Alright. So, yeah, I have um, been decorating my house. I wanted to have um, a sort of more Japanese area in the opening. I decided to do this floor because I really love the shanty mat. I'm going to have a hearth in the middle here um yeah and i can't wait to get a cicada in here as well that more feel i want to have this sort of trophy fishing room in the back um my kitchen is going to be this way there's sort of just some of the items for each room sort of laid in here like this um yeah, so when I get a fridge, when I get other things, those will go in there. And then, like, for example, the arcade um, is in pieces right now. And are just these four machines. Oh, I put an ABD in here as well. I forgot about that. And then some posters. And a disco ball that I got, which is awesome. <clears throat> oh, there's nothing in the back room yet, but upstairs. Do this. Oh, yeah, my uh, my pet. Don't, don't worry about him. Uh, and then, obviously, we'll have this separated bathroom, but I wanted to have Cypress bathtub sort of go along with more of the theme of the house and everything. Um... Yeah, and uh, I got this sloppy couch, which I, I really like, which I think goes well with the ironwood. Um, and then finally we have downstairs, which is funny enough, other than this room, probably the most put together. 
I just put down my Christmas stuff just to get it out of my inventory because this is where my seasonal stuff is going to go, right? So I have that all sitting there. Why is... Hold on. It's like my double sofa is supposed to be here. There we go. Okay, and all my gyroids! Except for the ones that I have laid out in other rooms. I have a twangoid in the main room. Uh, the Brewster gyroid, and then a spare whistleoid that I had upstairs. Um, and that's it. The rest of them are all down here. Uh, see, I have that one, that one, and that one up here. There are obviously more than these, uh, including the two that I put upstairs. Um, yeah, but this guy glows. Um, and yeah, I think they, they sing great. Also, I have collected a decent watching you while waiting for my computer update. Oh, nice. Uh, also, I've collected a, a good amount of music now, including this song, which I had never had. Really weird vibe. Just think these guys are great with that song. And so yeah, this is all sitting down here and then my my lovely crafting table. And that's really it for right now. Um so Let's grab iron. Grab all that. Oh, I don't. I don't even have enough softwood. I need more wood. I need more wood. Ugh. I think I might have to go buy a flimsy. I don't have any twigs on me. Even though I could, I'm just gonna go do it. Cause whatever. <sighs> I have a very nice drink. I would buy that cuckoo clock, but I already have one, and I don't want more than one. I'll buy another one of those, cause I know I'm gonna break that. Um. All right. You. Yeah, I just love the uh, the Tanjiro cosplay that I have going. In fact, I'm really excited to um, do a, a small Photoshop project um, to kind of prove a point. I really wish we had me heads in this game, me masks, whatever you like to call them. Um, they are honestly uh, probably one of the best things in New Leaf that is not in this. Even though I know it, me saying that to some people is probably like, what the fuck? Windows sound cover. Yoink. Alright, one of each. Nice. Bonk, bonk, bonk. So yeah, we're going to do this and then um, I might see if I can lay down. No, there's no point in laying down a piece of land, is there? I don't know. We will see. No, because it takes a few days anyway. And then after getting Pee Wee, 
we can go villager hunting! Uh, and then once we have all ten villagers, that'll help us get the three stars. I'm gonna have to, like, analyze... Um, some old footage to look at Kieno and see because I'm going to change a lot except for the layout of where my house was. Basically everything else is going to be changed because I think one of the only really good things about Kieno was my home. Um, and of course the uh, <clears throat> the black market which I, I want to keep but I'm also a little torn because it kind of goes against the theme. But so do these stores and the town hall, so whatever, <laughs> I guess. Um, I might try and fit it in, who knows. Oh! No. There we go. I don't know if I've donated one of these yet. Bagworm. Okay, let's see. Yep, perfect. And now... We craft this. Let's craft! Do-do-do-do-do! Bam. Keep crafting. Hold on for now. Perfecto! Alright. So, yeah, we're just putting everything real close together just for convenience sake. Um, so that I can get through a lot of this uh, as quickly as possible. So, 20 minutes. And I already have that done. Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna throw a baby. Oh. <laughs> No, I know, just that statement with no camera on or whatever. I'm gonna throw a baby. You are now being quoted on that. I will never actually throw a baby. You promise? <laughs> now the real question is what should I do with this museum? Let's go talk to Nook. Actually, I'm gonna put away all my stuff here first. Cause, like, I have a very full inventory right now.
Here we go. Um, I need to plant those outside. Okay. I'll put that away. Thank you. Love you too. Okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, yes, this. I caught this the other day. A sturgeon, baby. Look at that puppy. She. <laughs> I wanted to show that off on stream. Go donate that. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Let's take your time, but first, how may I assist you? Uh, make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Sturgeon. Oh, this must be a sturgeon. Now, might I interest you in a few uh, fascinating facts about, about sturgeon? Yeah, sure, why not? I would love nothing more. The sturgeon is a large and long-lived uh, uh, river fish, which has changed little in the past 300 million years. One curious behavior of theirs is leaping high out of the water and falling back on their sides. The smacking sound of their re-entry can be heard for up to half a mile away. Yep. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, no one knows why they do it, but I like to think it's their impression of bread popping out of a toaster. Ayo? And there you have fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. I want to go check this out. Because it's a river fish, so it's obviously going to be in the first area. I'm just wondering if it's going to be in that big tank. Nope, it's in this one. That's cool. Oh, God, I love that. First thing you see. I will assess fossils and get that over with. But I just, I love the fish so much. It's my favorite thing in this game. Um, they did so good with the fish in this one. I just, ugh. You know, so sick. Awesome, I can donate all this. Plus you. I have donated a lot of fossils, so. Good amount. Was this the specific? Just catch five fish? I will do that. Earn bells by selling items, sell fruit. Catch a bag worm? I just did that! God damn it! Uh, grow fruit trees. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll plant a peach tree. Plant myself a peach tree. Need to pick all these damn pears. Uh, 
Future campsite. Alright, I am going to plant these mums behind you. There you go. I will move those crabs into here for now. Actually, no, I might keep those out. Um, let's go. And then we'll put the sea butterfly in here. Alrighty. That. Put right there. This on the wall. This on four. Boom. Me likey. Alright. I'll put that on top of other fish, actually. I don't want to just place that right now. sounds really good through the uh, music box. My mom gave me this. I really like that. I think that looks really good. Okay, um, clump of weeds. Blah, 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 blah. that I want to sell. <laughs> Why not? I'll sell the blue ones. Yeah, I'll sell these. Donate that, and that. That's fake, I think. I don't know. We will see. Um, all right. <sighs> Let's see. Maybe I might have struck gold. 
Because I know that the um, these other statues that I have are real. I don't know if the ancient head there is real. The ancient statue is real. In the genuine article. And our donation for all to read once it's on display. Please do check back later. Robust statue. No, it's... That one's fake? Damn. Okay, wait a minute. What about the ancient head? Rock head, yeah. Cool, okay, yeah. That one's real as well. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Oh no, did you get hoodwinked? I haven't even talked to him yet. Those aren't even from here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright. Let's talk to Tom. <laughs> ah, Toasty. Hello, hello. Have you found a good location for our campsite? Of course! <laughs> Splendid! I can't wait to see the spot you picked out. Now that the location is settled, I can proceed with construction. Tomorrow we'll have a wonderful campsite for visitors. How exciting. <laughs> it's a construction campsite counter. How, how can I help you? Oh, the customization workshop. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, about that workshop. Love to. That's the spirit. Let's get started. I believe a brief explanation about what customization is is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you'll need the item you want to customize along with the required number of customization kits. Then you customize your item at a workbench. The design or color will change in the blink of an eye, I do believe. You find this easier to understand once you try it yourself. The goal for this session is to make a wooden wardrobe. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't need the DIYs before it. Let me send it right over to you. There, all set. Come see me after you get a wooden wardrobe. Alright. Let's do this. If I can at least get this done, go to the next day and talk to him again again then I've done uh, I've done enough god my voice cracks so much all right there we go do I actually I think I might have one. no I don't what am I what am I even thinking yeah why would I why would I have one of those <laughs> Let's do I had all I needed. It's just regular wood, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Let me go. Let me go. So, uh, I'm wondering if, um, I saw Harv, I haven't been to his island or anything, I wonder if I can, um, after going there, then traveling a day, to the bench, wondering if I can get started that little community. Looks like you're ready now with your wooden wardrobe, it's time to customize it. Customization kits, use them on your wooden wardrobe. 
Dark wood, customize. And bam! I customized a wooden wardrobe. Yes, yes, masterfully done. As you've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. Take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects. As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as DIY projects. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. Hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wooden wardrobe. Now take a break. I do believe you've earned it. What should I do? Thanks to your help, we have a place to put our new campsite. My plan is to open the campsite for visitors tomorrow. Something to look forward to. Okay, let's head to Harv's. I could head to the island do the DLC. I might head there and then, um... Actually, no, I'll do that all on stream. I'm not gonna... Not gonna touch that. Even though I could get walls and pillars and sound and everything. Um... I'm going to open up my food. Mwahahaha. I got a sort of roast beef sandwich, which is awesome. Okay. Harv's Island. How may I help you out today? I want to fly. Any paperwork, where do you want to go? Visit Harv's Island. Ah, uh, Harv's, where could... Oh, I know what you're talking about. That island Harvey lives on. Roger that, good buddy. Are you ready? All packed up. Time for takeoff. All right, let's get you airborne. Dodo One, this is Dodo Tower. Okay, have a good flight, friend. Let's go. Touchdown, like doing brain teasers and a glockenspiel. We're perked and proud. Let's give a quack to Wingback. They are so cute. Hi, Harv. Hey, it's you. You made it out to my island. Thanks for coming. Um, Toasty. Woo! Sure is good to see you again, Toasty. Yes, sir. -y. Good old Toasty. Anyway, welcome to Harv's Island. Don't remember if I mentioned it before, but I run a photo studio here. Called Photopia, because it's like paradise for picture taking, and it's free to all, so come use it any time. Wow, wild. I I barely know anyone who uses this. Some people use it for like machinima. So, you digging the Photopia vibe? Pretty groovy, right? It's like my home away from home, you know? Really, this isn't just your house? More like, this is my home. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew it. But hey, since you're here, let's capture the moment on film, huh? He knows. Got any questions about the studio? I'm all ears. Well, mostly ears. Some knows, too. Tell me more, bud. Really? That's great. Okay, you've come to the right dog. Yes, sir. -y. It's basically three things to worry about with the pictures. The set, models, and wardrobe. In other words, in your space, gather up your folks you want in the picture and give them costumes. Once you've mastered those three, taking the actual picture is easy, at least here in Photopia. Want to hear more details about sets, models, and wardrobes, or do you actually know taking pictures? I'm good. Sure are. Don't let anybody tell you different. Oh, feel free to use the studio anytime. If you're all set, I'm going to go freshen up. So I can use any item that I've already seen and customize them. Whoa! Yeah. I don't have that anymore. Huh. 
Oh, wow, and any creature I've caught. Oh, dude, that is cool. Huh. Yeah, I never really looked into this because I didn't really care. Interesting. Hmm. Whatever. Save and end, and then travel to the next day. So, we got our campsite done, donated our first piece of art, and went to Harv's. I'd say this has been pretty productive. Let's keep this momentum going. Come on, game load. I'm really excited to start designing. Like, looking at some, um, sort of countryside Japanese towns. I don't know, other people's old Japanese islands. Um, has been a massive inspiration. I'm really excited to make, like, farms. and utilize the boats and docks. Good morning, everyone. Right now on New Kano, Channel 1, Mark 6. Starting now, today, on New Kano, we have our very own campsite. A place for beautiful villagers. Well, have plenty of visitors just take a moment to wander over and spread the, their island charm. Of course, we're holding a special ceremony. Yeah, I don't really care about ceremonies. What the hell? The fuck is that? Get out of my lawn! <laughs> Hey yo, hey Draco. How's it going, my dude? Guess I should check my Discord, eh? Did you see my message? Wanted to know if you wanted to play some Animal Crossing. Good, just got home from work eating beans. Nice. I'm already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who won't stay here. It won't be long until we start getting some guests. When we have a guest, typical up to the campsite. So be sure to keep an eye out for that, even though we aren't able to officially start business at the campsite just yet. What we need is for visitors to be completely wowed by the wonders of the island life. I'd appreciate anything you can do to help improve the island. Do some weeding, plant some flowers, play some outdoor decorations to enhance the scenery. Fair enough. I've done a lot of weeding. Garden light, switch light. Ah, 
damn, now we're getting doubles. I already have that song. Is there a new... Nope, I actually don't have that one. So I guess I just have to work on um, making the island look better, which is fair. All right. So yeah, I'm just kind of shoving everything together until we hit three stars and then demoing the whole island. Oh, dude, I need that. Give me that. Bye. I'll take that too. I don't need a tambourine. Whoa. All right. I'm surprised I didn't get that. Bam. Um, yeah. I think that's everything I need from here. So, have you fallen off Fortnite, or do you still play? I still play every now and then. Uh, just not nearly as much. Um. Also, I just want to say I never said anything. Draco, if it was you that gifted me the rest of the uh, fish sticks bundle, thank you. Um, because it's either it was either you, Matt, or Val who did it, and I I really appreciate it. I never said anything. Um, but yeah, I'm the thing that I'm really looking forward to. Twas me. Thank you so much, Draco. I am I genuinely really appreciate that. Thank you for thinking of me. Whoa. Oh, this is sick. What? Cyber suit. Dude! Oh, I have not seen that. Oh, that is so fucking cool. Whoa. Yeah, okay, that's awesome. <laughs> I'd like to buy one of every color. Um, yeah. So, yeah, w once the Inkville gang stuff comes out, I'll I'll be real fucking hyped. But, yeah, I, I, I play a, a few matches every now and then. Just casually. Not nearly as much, though. Um, just because I sort of got back into this and started, um... Uh, started playing more of the, of the N64 stuff. It was that in those sucky... Nah, it ain't, B. Oh my god, I put that on. Inosuke's a boar. B, this is Tanji, no. Yeah, I, I am dressed as Tanjiro. <laughs> Tangiro. Tangiro. What have you been playing recently? Oh, I've also been playing Seven Days to Die. Which has been fun. Cyberpunk? Ooh! Nice! Good for you! I have not touched that game since just after launch. I was like... I waited another month, played a bit more, and then I just went, I'll, I'll wait longer. <laughs> yeah. 
that shit um, has gotten better. I've seen it, but I don't know. Is it like fixed fixed? <laughs> I was in the middle of taking a bite, goddammit. I rate it not as shit as it used to be out of ten. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that's good at least. Oh, damn. I put 81 hours in it so far. Wow. That's fucking wild. So I guess it's worth going back to. probably need to hit three stars before I do this but I have zero idea still has some problems yeah I would assume Yeah, not not yet. Nothing that makes it unplayable. So you haven't been like soft locked? Cause that was my big problem. No? Okay. That's good. At least there's that saving great. Saving great. Saving grace. Beat the main story two times. Nice! Yeah, so... You went through from start to finish. Good. Because I, I literally... I got to the... Um, no spoilers or anything, but I got to the hotel mission with the drone. You know... Oh no, it's so spoilery. And then the game just sort of like busted. And I couldn't, I could not play it. Um, Draco, would you be down to play some Animal Crossing? Open up your island and show it off? I also wanted to, um, to know what recipes you had. If there's anything that I don't have. My island is shit. That's alright, man. My island's pretty garbage, too. have done nothing to it by nothing do you mean like do you not even have ables yet or i just want to know like how far along you are Because, like, if you've... I have all the buildings. I just put them down to get KK so I can terraform, but never actually started. Okay, so you are further along than I am.
then my real question what how the fuck what when did I what was this just in that set that I just got yeah but my houses are like oh, oh your houses are on the beach Okay, um, I'm gonna make that right now. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Awesome. Now this will make that look loads better. That'll be useful down the line. I think some of this... Well, I mean... Make that... Yeah, let's go place that. Yeah, that's fair. I, uh, I just didn't. <laughs> I probably should have put them on the beach, though. Not gonna lie. Alright. And now we just need to put some pillows around it. Until I, uh, until I get... A cicada. Couldn't you technically make the living room into the kid's bedroom from FNAF with the toddler? Yes, you could. I've also done the FNAF 2 room as well and made these doors the vents. Um, the only problem with FNAF 4 is that these doors would technically be here, but yeah, you could. You would just put the bed right here. And then have this be the closet. Or you could do it the other way. Yeah. You could have the bed be here. Have this be the closet. Just use two simple panels. Have these be the doorways. Yeah, have the main entrance as closet. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting design idea. That would be actually a really cool perspective of you coming in as if you're the animatronic. I actually really like that. I might do that. Just as a sort of design idea. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't mean to leave. Um... really cool huh not bad yeah that would be sick and they have some of the hospital stuff so you could do like the easter eggs and have the toy phone and yeah that would actually be really cool because there is a lot of like kids toy stuff that you could use damn monkey not as bad as rocket though
your hair is the wrong color, by the way. They don't have the right color, god damn it. Okay? His hair is like black and red. Which I can't do. I don't... I, that doesn't tell me anything to do. Okay, well, hmm. I, I literally have a statue of him. Um, and his hair has like red tips, basically. He has like lines going across it. Is the best way to describe it. I wish you could have two-tone hair. But you can't. Unfortunately. If I could make his hair like a dark red. Yeah, okay, there's nothing. Um. Then I would. You know what? I'm just gonna... Gonna see. If I just lay out a bunch of furniture and, um... And flowers, it'll put me at three stars, right? Like, it doesn't need to be in... It doesn't actually need to look pretty. The algorithm needs to just be like, oh, this is enough. Or do they need to be spaced out? Like, theoretically, if I were to just empty my storage all over the island. We have to have a campsite villager. That's what you're missing. So what, do I have to just keep skipping days? In order to, um... <clears throat> Sorry about that, holding in a sneeze. Um, in order to, uh, okay, yeah, well, fair enough. I'll just keep doing that. Bless you, thank you. Ugh. Drop my joy guns. All right. On to the next day. <sighs> Gotta shave your cats. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'm taking antihistamines. I'm just not even gonna say anything to anybody. They just all come home and all the cats are hairless. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? I'm allergic. Have you been to an, like, an allergist to actually get that checked? No, it was just a thought. My mom's allergic to cats, so, you know. Going to book an appointment, but, yeah, if they tell me I'm allergic to cats, that's going to be quite a interesting conversation with Kermie. Come on, come on. Let's fucking go.
Jericho, do you want to get on call? Hey, there's a villager. Who is it? Do I have to? Oh, right. You have to move in your first campsite, villager, no matter what it is. Fuck, I remember this. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, no. Um. It's right. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Good morning, everyone. For today's announcement, we have a villager at the campsite. Go meet our guest in person. Oh, I swear to fuck if it's Rocket. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Right, I'm not going to do anything else. I normally go to my stores and check, but... Any other gorilla I'd be fine with, literally. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. Oh! Oh, hi, Colton. Hi, Juan Guillermo? The name's Colton. Oh, I'm the first one using this campsite. I figured I'm pretty good at reading people. Holy fuck, Colton. Oh. oh okay, I'm gonna go do other things. Oh. Bye, Colton. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy sh- I, I literally, as soon as you said it's Rocket, and I realized what was going on, I was like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. What? Why is there an explosive barrel? Oh yeah, this is for sale. An oil barrel. Mmm, yeah, this'll be good. As Rocket slowly emerges from Colton's skin suit. <laughs> Yeah, just Rocket's gone completely insane and just needs to be on the island. As soon as I get Pee-wee over here, I realize Pee-wee's acting kind of funny and a little annoying. And then I just realize, oh my god. It's... It's Rocket! <laughs> just... Fuck's sake. Ah, yes. A cow skull. Captain's hat. Steel toes. Or old work boots. We'll go with old work boots. exact same thing that I'm wearing. Um, work apron. Sure. Alright. Yep, let's go check Nook shopping. And then get Colton. Dear God, that, that honestly, honestly my heart skipped a beat. I was... Oh, get the fuck out of my way, Tammy. Oh my god. Whew. Whew. That. Oh, Toasty, hello, hello. As I mentioned, today's broadcast. Be our first campsite villager. If you have time, I'm going to try to talk them into moving into New Kino. The dear god is actually Eric. Oh, interesting. I will. I will have to get Eric then. I guess. Yo, MVP. Oh, take it, song. Ah, why did I no? Redeem Nook Mouse. Barbed wire imperial defense. I do not have that one. Alrighty. Thank you. 
I might actually use that in town. Uh, that was everything. My brother's day is Pi Day. Wow. Hmm. So, yeah, I have to convince them to move in, even though I do not give a single shit about them. Hi, Colton. Oh, man, I'm just imagining things, but I feel like everyone wants me to move here. Yes, yes it is. You should live here. I'm honored. Just one little thing. I hate for it to be exclusive, but it's just me. Can you go check the VIP manager? Leave it to me. Guten Tag! Why do you talk like that, Colton? I don't want my neighbor to be someone that wears a cape. Why do you wear a cape? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he knows of your alignments? Oh no. My senses tell me uh, you've been to see our guest at the campsite. But really, Toasty, you've done it, and so quickly. That means we have no time to waste. Our course of action will be building a home. Don't with our visitor, leave it to me. You'd agree to it. We need a housing kit. Is it in with your belongings? Find a good spot. Well then, off you go. Alright, time to plop him down on the beach. <clears throat> but hold on. If he truly knows of my alignments, then I have to show him something. <clears throat> um, fucking. Ooh, I, uh. Do I have any, like, normal, sort of, like, secretive. I guess I... No, no. I'll wear the flight coat. Um... And then where is my... Um... No one else needs to know. Hold on. It's not what I was looking for. Uh... There it is. <clears throat> no one else. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I'm still wearing the whatever. <clears throat> Colton, I have a few questions for you, yeah. You, uh, you ever read this book, Colton? <laughs> Colton? Hey, you, yeah, hey. Hey, uh, t t tell me, did I get the part of the newest resident of the site? Yeah, yeah, you d I know you're sweating, right? You're real nervous about this conversation, aren't you? Yeah, well, before we get to that... Um, now don't be scared, but someone told me that you know of, uh, my alignments. I was wondering, I was wondering, have you read this? Oh, you think this, yeah, you're laughing at me now, you think this is funny, don't you? Yeah, it's a little hilarious if you, uh, if you know the context. Uh, I can see by that look in your eyes, you vouched for me with the higher ups. Yeah, yeah, I did. Well, after, after Draco told me that you're, uh, you're on my side, it seems. You know, you, you might not be so bad after all. Now I'll wait here and practice the look of surprise. I'll have you tell me you closed the deal. Yeah, yeah, I closed, uh, I closed a few deals. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe you should look over this, uh, this book, uh, 
Terms of service are a little spicy. Um, you'll be sleeping on the beach. And if you don't like what you read, you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Bye, Colton. <laughs> Fuck. So, uh, next page. Yep, Colton's demise. Looks about right. Yep, mm hmm. Oh, good, there's. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. Yes, I brought the good book with me. Let's plop him right out here. Uh, no, not that way. Um. Uh. This, this is the spot. This is the spot. Sold. Alrighty. All right, Colton. Here's the deal. Get outside, move your shit, lickety split. There you are. I've just been waiting here patiently. Who am I kidding? Me, you know, did you find me a place to live? Oh, you did? That's cool. Really cool. In that case, I need to head home and start packing. No big. I'm not totally excited or anything like that. Yeah, I bet you aren't, huh? You, uh, don't tell anyone about this little meeting, okay? Alright, now I'll report back to, uh, to Nookie here, and then time travel to the next day and see what, uh, what goes on. Ah, Toasty, welcome back. Oh, did you find a place for us to build a new home? Yeah, I, I did. Um. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could say that. Yeah, I, I found a place, I did, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fine news, indeed. If his first gift to you is an oven, I'll lose it. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck, Draco! <laughs> that's... Now that's spicy! We don't want to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. By super side by side, my fish are in the ground. Super side by side, stop right now. Okay. Um. Hmm. This has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here, but scrambling to secure a plot only only arises is much too haphazard of a way of doing business. Ah, yes. It, what the fuck did I just? Oh, everything cut out. Hello? Oh my dear god. Um. Uh. No signal? What do you mean no signal? Hello? I, oh my god, guys, I am, I am really sorry, I did not expect, uh, that to occur. Hello? Alright, that, that should be good. My god, I started talking. And then, ah. Ah. There we go, hold on. Well, bam Yeah. Alright, perfect. I'll put them up for sale. I have to charge a small processing fee, but if we get a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. Toasty, I do hope I can count on you for help. Yeah, sure, why not? Now, here's the real question. 
do we go villager hunting or do we just let randos come in? What do you think? Cause I have plans for vill. Ah, no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not actually letting you decide. Cause you'll be like, randos, do it, and then I'll get shit villagers. I think word of mouth of the island will spread once more when folks start living here. We need any visitors to come to New Canada to be blown away by how wonderful our island is. Put in some work. Oh, there's pulling weeds planting. Yada 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 yada. Okay. So. Have I even checked this? Did I check this? Let randos let fate decide. Yeah, I don't know. I... I might do that with some of them. You know what? I'll... I'll... Or are you a poo, poo pathetic bitch? Hey, fuck! <laughs> hey, yo! Fucking talking smack! <laughs> you fucking <clears throat> fucking. I don't have any angry ones. Damn, I really have no angry one. Okay, whatever. I'm upset. Look at me, all right. I'm I'm real fucking nasty. I'm fucking. All right, look at me. I'm angry. I'm gonna do you in. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of doing people in, hold on. Oh, Colton. Colton, I just I just wanted to reiterate something. Uh, Lily. You know, it's it's really nice that you've uh, you've come here, you've moved in. Um, wow, well, no, you're in the process of doing that. You you, you came here, really you nizzled down and everything. But just because Nook wants you, I want you to know. I want you to yeah, you're a simple horse, aren't you? Yeah, I wanted you to know that. Um, <clears throat> Just because Nook wants you here, doesn't mean we want you here, you understand? And if, uh, if, if you tell anyone about our, our little discussion earlier, I'll, I'll fucking throw you into the water, okay? You understand me? If you come back up, I'll do something far worse, okay? Turn you into glue. You hear that? Yeah, you keep having your dreamy fucking thoughts. <laughs> I want to be rich and make friends with all the coolest and most beautiful. Yeah, shut the fuck up. He's gonna end up with a sick ass star. <laughs> Draco, no, <laughs> Draco. Yeah, he's gonna have a really cool, really cool star. Jesus. You know what I look like right now with this hat and a, a jacket and everything? I look like um the dude from you. <laughs> Trying to stay all fucking stay all hidden and everything while coming up to him being like, hey, hey, you an asshole. Get out of my fucking village. <laughs> you know what I look like? A bitch. Yeah, gee, thanks. Yeah, I'll keep the hat on, though. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, next day, then? Because... Woo! Don't think I can do anything else as of now. Actually, wait. Where's In Inosaki? Um, I I can't do Inosuke, man. Like it, it it's there. I would need to like do a boar, which would just look bad. It it would look terrible. 
Um, but like, I I would I would like to do it if it were possible. Uh, yeah, I I'd be more like I could do Zenitsu. I could do Giyu, I could do Rengoku. Just wear the <laughs> Just wear the pig nose! I don't have it. Tell you what, if you get me the pig nose, I'll fucking do it. If you get me the pig nose, I'll do it. <laughs> Just wear the pig nose. Fuck. What hair would I use? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. So I'd use a custom design. Um, I'd use a custom design sleeveless t-shirt to do his abs. Or, well, I guess I'd do a long sleeve. And then I would have... Um, I have to have, like, long, shaggy hair. Like cat ears or something that I can have. There, throw back gothic mirror. Oh. This is an issue. There's no like gray skin. We have good colors, don't get me wrong, but. I can be a fucking Smurf! <laughs> oh, whoa. That one's a little wild. Um. Okay, and then I need like the ah that that's probably as good as we're gonna get, and then um, dude, this is not gonna work. <laughs> this is just not gonna work. Did you end up playing sports I didn't get to? I did. I played all... I played three times. Uh, I could not record it. It just... Like, every time I did, the footage corrupted. And then I realized, like, oh, if I posted that, I would have gotten a strike anyway. So it didn't really make much of a difference. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I still... I really wanted to. I just never... Never really got to. Yeah, this is just, like, not... This would just not work. You would not be able... To make an Osuke. If you... <laughs> with the big nose, this would be hilarious. God damn... Yeah, that this, this. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> God, man, that's wow. <laughs> Bruh. Could you unmasked Inosuke? I could. With green eyes, the long, bluey purple hair. Have his big dumb smile. Yes, yes we could.
might do that. Might just. Um. Now. Go another day. I'll I'll try and see if I can do the full cast. We'll we'll do that, but I'm still I'm still working on the village right now. I don't want to get into too much like cosplay stuff. Tanjiro is one of those things that I had planned. I brought the the box bag with me and I also brought the samurai greaves. It was like one of those ones that I knew I wanted to do already, so I just had never gotten around to actually doing it. Um, but yeah. I know I'm making Nezuko's robes. Um, I also kind of want to make Akaza. What about a sister? Yeah, I'll, I'll do Nezuko. Um, yeah, I can definitely do that. Hey. How's it going? It's going. They're just listening to music and stuff, so... Sorry if you get uh, any sort of, like, warnings or anything like No, that. I don't think they can hear too much. Your cell phone. Yep. There's a lot of copyrighted shit going on. Yep. Um, yeah, honestly, I think that's good enough for now. I've been going for an hour and a half, so, yeah. Um, made a lot of progress, got our first campsite villager, went to Harv's, donated our first piece of art. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll stream later, see how this footage came out. I can hear singing, but it sounds like someone else doing it. Yeah, no, it is. It, it is. My parents are in the kitchen singing away to some songs that are playing on the uh, stereo, so... Yeah, unfortunately, there's there's nothing that I can really do. I I try, but, um... Entertainment is spiritual. Yeah, I can't, uh... <laughs> I can't really block out the audio. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, have a good morning, afternoon, or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll probably uh, stream more tomorrow. Not loud, not a problem. Okay, well, that's good. Right. Um, yeah, I definitely want to stream more Animal Crossing on a regular basis and more Arceus, but um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys where I was at.